Good Friday, everyone. I want to start off by saying Happy Veterans Day. We sure do appreciate the service of all the men and women in the armed forces and appreciate all they do for our country. Checking our daily weather map for today. Look at all that unsettled weather east of the Mississippi River. I mean, it just the weather just tanks once you get past that river. Flash flooding from New York down to West Virginia, then again down into the Smoky Mountains or just on the other side of the Smokies. Strong to severe thunderstorms for North Carolina and portions of Virginia. Many of those areas are under tornado watches this morning. And I've got another area strong to severe thunderstorms across southeast Texas. Some heavy snow falling across portions of northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and all of this is because of a strong cold front slamming into the remnants of what was Hurricane Nicole. Now it's been downgraded to a depression as it spins up through Georgia, and as our cold front comes through the eastern part of the country, all that kind of combines to give us lots of rain and lots of unsettled weather. And look at these, look at these temperatures: 10 degrees in Montana today for a high. Versus 41 down near St. Louis, 40, 41 or so, and then 68 in Nashville. So you can certainly look at 82 for Houston and then 40 for the Panhandle of Texas. So this is definitely a strong cold front making its way across the country. And you're going to feel that thing come through here this evening. We're a 90% chance for rain today, maybe a rumble of thunder. Enjoy that 63 degree high temperature because you're not going to feel that again for a while. This cold air is going to settle in once it gets here. Tonight we drop down to 33. We'll still have some moisture around, so don't be surprised if you see some snowflakes mix in. And don't be surprised if you see those snowflakes mixing in on Saturday as we only get to the low 40s, maybe. Some guidance is suggesting we'll barely touch 40. So we're going to be much colder tomorrow. A northwest breeze few snowflakes, few raindrops flying through the air. It's going to feel like you're going to you're going to be reminded that we're getting really close to winter. And then Saturday night you're going to be reminded even more as we drop down to around 20 degrees. Some areas may drop down to around 18, 19. Sunday we don't do a very good job at recovering at all. Even as the sun comes out, we'll be good to get to 40. And then back down to 20 we go again Sunday night and then Monday clouds begin to increase a bit and then by Monday night some moisture starts to move in. And there is a chance that moisture will be in the form of snowflakes. So we could have some snow showers, maybe a period of light snow going into Tuesday morning. But as you can see, Tuesday's high warms up to 43. So any anything that did try to accumulate you know, Monday night into Tuesday morning will, will quickly melt by at least mid-morning. If that moisture catches up with the cold air, you know that whole song and dance. I'll keep an eye on that part of the forecast. You all know how tricky winter weather forecasting can be around here. I'll keep fine-tuning as we get closer to that time. And then Tuesday night, we should be back to cloudy lows around 30. So lots going on. Um, our daily weather hazards, you know, we've got uh, the rain to watch out for for today. And then, uh, you know, just be careful on the roads. You know, some of that water could pond on the roadway, especially if we get some heavy rain at times. And then you've got your cold temperatures coming this weekend. And then by next Tuesday morning, we'll have to keep an eye on the weather. We got a, that system's coming out of the Gulf. It's going to throw some moisture up and over the cold air. So if that can meet up with the cold air, we'll get some snowflakes Tuesday morning. So but I'll keep a real close eye on that part of the forecast. You all know how things can change with that stuff. And once again, I want to conclude by saying Happy Veterans Day and how much we do appreciate the service of all of our veterans and the sacrifice and dedication and on and on and on that they give for this great country. So please remember, anytime you know, you're, you're thinking about your freedom, don't forget to think about the folks who made it happen. You folks have a wonderful Friday and keep looking up. For even more weather information, just keep reading along in that blog, meteorologistmark.com.